Hi everybody, it's Martin at Flitting Feathers again today and I'm tying <coughs> a Clouser Helgramite. It's another one of Bob Clouser's patterns. Um, Colour looking Helgramite. Fairly simple tie. Um, but again, maybe less well known than the Clouser Minnow and some of his other stuff. So the hook I'm using, this is a, a size 4 TMCO 811S and I'm going to run on some 030 lead wire, lead free wire length of the shank Flatten the ends with your nail to t take the sharp edge away, and then I'll quickly cover this up with some thread. This is just the uh, olive UTC 140, but you use whatever you like, you need whatever, it doesn't make any difference on this fly. So bring my thread back and stop it just sort of in line with the barb. I'm going to take <clears throat> a pinch of rabbit fur off of the skin uh, and you want it to be the length of the hook or so so like that I'll just catch this in here nice and tight and I'll just cover up the box. Don't need to be too fussy. And then take my zonker strip. It's a wide, a wide zonker strip. And just sort of judge the length that you like. It's up to you. You can tie them longer or shorter. this in nice and secure again and that's the sort of body then just to sort of add a wee bit of bulk here we need another punch of rabbit for taking free from the hide and I'll just Lay that on top, so I spread it a wee bit with my thumbnail and catch it in and tie everything down nice and secure. At this stage I like to come in a wee bit of head cement. You don't need to do this but it does no harm. And that just, you know, that will soak into the leather there, of the rabbit. And just add a bit of toughness. Just take away any excess here. Next thing is to take uh, a piece of furry foam and obviously match the colour. So I'm using olive. Um, you can tie it in black as well. And it should be one and a half hook gapes, roughly. So you catch this in, on top of the shank, and tie it back. Make sure you come all the way back to your tie-in point. You don't want a space. Again, lock that in nice and secure. The sort of slightly damp head cement will help. Then I'm going to get a grizzly hackle. Nice and webby. And lock 
quite long in the fibre. Tie it in by the base. Just fold my stem back for security. <clears throat> and I'm going to make a dubbing loop. About six inches long, something like that. That's plenty. And then I'll advance my thread to the front. Now, when I, I always wax my dubbing loops, um, I know a lot of people say that the wax will just melt in the hot climate and then it doesn't, doesn't do anything, but the wax isn't holding it after the fly is tied, it's only to make the, the loop grippy at this stage. Now, I've got a bulldog clip here, uh, and I've loaded it with the same rabbit fur as we used for the tail section and I'm just going to get that in the loop and you don't really need to worry about any of the hair falling out because the, the wax just provides enough tack grip it. Then I'll take my dubbing spinner, get it in there, and give it a good spin. Make sure you spin it nice and tight. Then before before you wind it, give it a brush to help free any trapped fibres. And then just wind it one turn in front of the other. Right, don't wind on top of yourself. Make sure there's make sure the turns are progressing always in front. Try not to trap any hairs. You will trap some, but don't worry. And then you get to the front, a couple of turns over it, fold the loop back and tie back over the top. Trim away your waist. And then take your Take your hackle and palmer it forward, open turns through the rabbit. Again, don't try to not catch in, but don't worry too much about it at this stage. When you get to the front, come across your thread. And tie back over it. Now, in the event that you have trapped some fibres, just take your bodkin come in. Watch you don't snap the the hackle stem. Try to just grab the rabbit. Or you can even use some velcro. You know the velcro's not got to break the hackle, so it's fairly safe. And 
And then I like to just part the part your hackle fibers and wrap it and pull the furry foam over the body. Take a loose gathering wrap and tighten it towards yourself. Two or three turns, turn in front. Now I'll just come in in front of this furry foam and put finish behind the eye. I'll do another one for security. <clears throat> then I'll come in, we'll cut this about three eighths, half an inch out the front and then I'll cut it to a point and then I'll just take this out of the vise to help make it a bit clearer oh. I'll cut in Make my to make the pincers. Trim them to suit. And there you have it, that is the Clouser Helgramite. Fairly easy tie, um, and it gives you quite a nice mobile fly that's a decent imitation of a large Dobson fly larva or a Helgramite. Um, if you fish for bass, then it's well worth banging one of these in your fly box. So, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was useful. Uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up below if you did like it, and uh, subscribe to my channel for more HD fly tying videos. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Bye.